newsletter. Mr. Dines, right away, I'm going to start off. I'm going to talk to you about gold, silver, as always, for the listeners globally. But I did want to ask you about uranium to start the show. Uh, looking at the chart that you had in your latest 46-page letter here that went out to people that I just received, you had the chart in there. Showed the uptrend line. And even though we went up to $130 plus on uranium and came back down, we're still in that mega uptrend. The question I had for you is, does uranium breach that 136 high over time? Without a doubt on the original uranium bug. And the price of uranium is fascinating because in this very large annual forecast issue, we have an actual chart of uranium. People all have opinions on it, but they're not looking at the chart. What's fascinating is that the Fukushima disaster in Japan knocked the price of uranium down but did not break the uptrend line. And this is one of the 65 dynamisms. Don't think, look. It's very important for a scientific mind to rely on observation rather than telling the world what to do. And the fact that it's up says to me that sooner or later, this bull market in in the uranium mining stocks will resume. Now, the stocks move separately from the commodity, which is counterintuitive. But in fact, that's a result of the impact of mass psychology on the stock, whereas the market, the uranium buyers in the marketplace buy their uranium very much in line with their actual needs. So what's happening is their uranium is being bought, but the stocks are bouncing up and down like yo-yos. And we originally recommended uranium at $8 a pound. It got up to over $130, uh, which was phenomenal, and then had a normal pullback of about half to its current prices. And I think the next move is going to challenge the all-time highs, but that's not going to happen in one day. In fact, uranium has got a long bull market ahead of it. Being able to buy these stocks when they're selling for pennies, as they were last week when we published the forecast issue, is the time to buy these things. When nobody wants them and nobody is thinking about uranium, that's the way to do it. But mark my words, Fukushima will disappear in the public mind, as did Chernobyl, and both of those were due to negligence. And uh, there are more and more nations going into atomic energy. Even Vietnam is going to build one by 2020. And I'm being tape recorded. Mark my words. The stocks that are now selling for pennies are near rock bottom. And they're the buy of a lifetime. The rally just in the last few days is the train leaving the station. And you'll kick yourself someday if you're not buying them right now. There might be a little pullback here. They've just come up a little fast. But uh, you should be there with a basket. Mr. Dines, as you know, you and I were both buying these uraniums and looking at this, as you said, as one of the great buying opportunities of a lifetime. But I did want to ask you, because you've been involved and called so many of these Super Bowl markets correctly, was this one of the greatest buying opportunities you've ever seen in the sense that Fukushima really exacerbated what normally would have been, a, I guess, a normal pullback? We had the financial collapse and then we had Fukushima hit us. Yeah, it is one of the greatest. I think there was a better one when uranium was $8 a pound and everybody assumed it was going to disappear after Chernobyl, they were somewhere near these current prices. But the uranium mining industry has grown a great deal since then, so it's an even better buying opportunity than that. But I'm getting Internet stocks at the beginning of the Internet boom was probably the biggest one I've ever had. The stocks went vertical for several years. Mr. Dines, how do you see the uranium shares and uranium itself moving up from here? Will it be gradual or will it be violent? I think it'll be both. I'm um, looking, as I said, for a little pullback in February and uh, then a resumption of the bull market. A lot will depend on the external market and the election coming up.